Now, welcome to another Meme Monday. Meme which, Monday. I always, gotta, I always forget you're going to do that. You do. You forget every time and you look at me like no, you're surprised. I know. I'm always like, <laughs> I get this like, okay, I'm ready to record. I hit the button and then I'm like, Meme Monday. And then you just totally ruin my focus. Anyway, see how That's much you I destroyed my for. focus. We will, I will, once again be reacting to memes sent into the email address, Sailor Naboo's email address in the description below or that are posted on the Discord server. And if you send yours in, you don't see it, just realize you get a ton of these. I always enjoy watching you read them, yeah. even though I can't read them while you're watching them. I just get to watch you laugh at them. Mm. So oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. do keep sending them in. Don't be discouraged if yours doesn't pop up. And spicy Me Monday is going going to be coming. It's probably not going to be a Monday, though. It's going to be like Spicy Saturday. Spicy Taco Tuesday, I think. No, right? Spicy no? Saturday. Okay. All right, let's get to the memes. Look at the subtle family dynamic between the main characters. The tasteful use of Ralph McQuarrie's art. Oh my god, it even has Thrawn. <laughs> yeah, like, Rebels was good. Rebels I, is you know, very good. Rebels is good. I, I understand the people who don't like, you know, it's kind of like a little bit of a letdown after Clone Wars, but it has, it has the heart of Star oh. Wars, it has the look, even if it doesn't have that kind of cool Clone Wars animation. I like I like rebels. Well, anything's better than the resistance. So. And it has budget Thrawn, who can't quite be as Thrawn esque as he is in his own books well, because it just wasn't on screen. Well, <laughs> I mean, Thrawn's strategy is always like, ah, yeah. I'm letting them go for a reason, where it's like, eh, he did that a couple times. Exactly my point. Like reason. Thrawn, Thrawn never loses. Well, rarely loses. Hmm. Next, food falls on the ground. Bacteria for five seconds. <laughs> This is a good one. <laughs> hold on. He's got his... Well, hold on before five we... Five second rule. We gotta before wait. Before we attach, we he gets five seconds to pick five it up. Five seconds. Yep. That's good. That's good. Whoever came up with this one, I really like this one. Because <laughs> it's Because like it makes absolute five second rule is the <laughs> dumbest thing ever. That but bacteria, it is a rule. Whatever it is that that touches, it's instantly on there. No, five seconds. <laughs> Steady. Steady. Next. It's so cool we get to see the Stranger Things kids grow up. <laughs> I, I peeked at the last one. Yeah. That's kind of mean, though, isn't it? I know they, It's the haircut. It's, it's the, the I know, I know. He probably looks He, he, he looks probably fine. hates that his hair is like that for they got to get the old 80s bowl cut kind of going on there. I had one of those when I it was It wasn't as bad was in season one and two, you know. But look at how bad it got. Yeah. But that's how, that's, haircut was just hey, that so is good. classic 80s haircut, but though. But none of the other kids had that haircut. He's at the I trendy... I had those haircuts. No, no, he, had the, he was at the trendy California school and his mom still cut his hair that way. Yeah, he got me fun up for that. Yeah. I'm assuming, anyway. I never went to no trendy school. Next, Master Qui-Gon. I guess you guys were right. The boy was dangerous. I don't know why I didn't see it. <laughs> Oh, that would have been great. Like, uh, sorry, Obi Wan. Uh, yeah. I was so wrong. So wrong. Uh, and I didn't even have two stomachs to, you know, come back. And uh, that would have been quite humorous. Next, Netflix. You want to watch a 10 hour movie? Me. What? No, absolutely not. Are you insane? Netflix. What if we break it up into hour long episodes and you watch them all in one sitting? You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, that's Stranger Things, right? That was, that was, I mean, how long is it all together? I don't... The whole series? I don't even... God, it's, it's, it's gotta, gotta be... It's gotta be, what, 20? Uh, the whole thing? You, uh, the whole season four, though. That oh, can't be quite that long. No, I thought you were talking about, like, all... All of it? Well, yeah, that, then, you're, then you're probably 20, 30 hours, but no, the it's season... Probably, it's probably around 10 hours. Season, yeah. Season four's gotta be 10 hours plus, because there's nine episodes, right? And they're all over an hour long. I think one of them might have been just under an hour. Oh. But Maybe. yeah, but one of them's like two hours in the finale, like two hours? Yeah. That's like 10, 11, 12 <laughs> hours of just... And then it, you yeah. watched it all in one sitting. Some of us did. I didn't. No. Some out there did, no doubt. Next, I would never be a simp <laughs> at your service, mm. my queen. Ah, yes, Admiral Arlani from the new Thrawn trilogy. Yeah, you would like that. I don't know. I'm I'm more uh, I'm more leaning uh, the top uh, simping if I had to pick one or the other. You already picked one. I but did. it wasn't either any of them. I know it's the one. It's the one <laughs> sitting next to me right now. Thor simp water. I mean, older Ahsoka is okay, but younger Ahsoka I've always found a little weird that so many have a thing for. But, hey, <laughs> you might have been young when you watched Clone Wars. That makes it okay, I think. But uh, she, didn't, she didn't look like that. Now, Aang over there. 
Well, that's a whole different ball game. Hmm. Done with you. <laughs> Next. I wasn't always like this. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, he's one of the... Him and uh, Banner changed as well. Yes. Even yeah. though many people kind of forget about the first Incredible Hulk. The Edward Hulk. Norton face. Yeah, the Edward Norton face. I liked Edward Norton as Banner. I thought it was alright. Yeah, probably better than Ruffalo. Even though I got used to Ruffalo. I've gotten used to Ruffalo. Yeah. Next, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. On Peru's secret gun stash. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, she was just, she was ready. She was ready. She's got a little Ooh, arsenal in there. She's like, we're ready. Yeah, even, even Mando with his little stash in his ship would have been like, whoa, Maru. Whoa, Maru. Yeah, holy cow, you are ready for Inquisitors or whatever it might be. <laughs> He's unbelievable. Oh, even Owen's like, where did you get this stash? Uh, next. First <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I like that he's about to be hung, too. Like, he's just been... Yeah. I mean, he's probably... Still, let's be honest. No, they're going to bring dead. him back. No. They're going to do it. We Obi-Wan don't. We is... didn't see him die again, right? Obi-Wan buried him in the desert. We don't know that. Like, yes, we, we only do. saw him, like, get sliced, and then he's like... Uh, I think Obi-Wan would be a little more thorough this time. You would think so. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're, we're fine. I don't know. Next. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, the week isn't complete without your youngling slayer meme. <sighs> How did that even become a thing? Because you love them so much. I I don't know what you're talking about. I love. <laughs> Soon, the, every week will just be a collaboration of all of your favorite things. Well, that's what it should be. I mean, oh where's goodness. Faramir? Nobody cares. Is he safe? I'm putting him back on the pyre. <laughs> Bring wood and oil, but don't because I don't want to burn him. <laughs> Next, Mr. and Mrs. Skywalker. <laughs> very nice. I like this one. It was very clever. Yes. very. I like the lightsaber. This weapon is your life. Mm-hmm. And she's got her gun. Little gun, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <sighs> Next, you're probably wondering how I appeared as a Force ghost despite not can- canonically completing my training. Good question, yes. Thankfully, Skillshare was there to help me and worry no more because you too can find out how and much out how and much more by using Skillshare with my offer code Qui-Gon by Con. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't Those put it past clever Disney. ads that sneak in there when yeah. you're watching YouTube and they're like, oh, and by the way. I always like appreciate that. the YouTubers who when they when they do ads can kinda sneakily put it in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? They kind of make it a, kind of fun and part of the just video. Jump just like, yeah, and... now I'm going to talk three minutes about Skillshare before I talk about anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Qui Gon was good sneaking that in over. He was. Though. He was. Qui Gon, well, I mean, he's a he's a professional. He's got a certain set of skills. So. <laughs> to sell Skillshare. Did, it, did he get those skills from Skillshare? Oh, my God. I have a certain we set the, of Skillshare. We have the perfect. <laughs> We have the perfect match there. If Skillshare was ever going to go out and get anybody to to sell their product, it's the guy with a certain set of skills. <laughs> All right. Next. And these blast points, too accurate for sand people. Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. Yeah, I've always... This is what I've always wondered, because that that Tuscan, like, that, those pod racers are going hundreds of miles per hour, and he, like, manages to hit them. Like, can you imagine how you hard that is? Oh, yeah. Both size a 580 yeah, see a 580 mile per hour pod racer from 400 years away like that is impossible. And yet, and then he does. He doesn't even have a scope on that thing. Does sand. he even have a scope on it? He's just he's just firing and hitting. His, his eyes are little. Scopes. I mean, I think there is a scope, but it's probably not. You know. And he's got all that mask and calibrated. stuff on with the little eye pad. Yeah, he's got a little eye. Well, maybe that's his scope. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're so good they have the scopes they don't even have eyes they just Magnifying. have scopes yes <laughs> uh, enhance <laughs> enhance next Teddy you're alive of course I am kid nobody dies from being stabbed by a lightsaber or falling down a big hole these days <laughs> oh that's so true <laughs> that could have been the real Han it very well could have wow he's still alive in canon why wouldn't he be I mean yeah. it's just a little fall just a little, just a little stab. fall a little stab and a fall I mean didn't you see him wink before he fell off the platform <laughs> <laughs> give, give Kyle a little wink and then he I'll be back son this doesn't kill anybody in this universe Chewie went and got him uh next wow I have way too much money damn it what am I gonna do with all this money 
it's literally falling out of my pockets. Won't someone please take some of the money? Star Wars Lego. Lego. Yeah. So, anyway, that's how I imagine our target audience. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's how every business imagine is their target audience. So, Lego is particularly expensive for arguably not a lot of stuff sometimes when you really think about it. They're little plastic pieces. And you <laughs> Very pay, expensive little plastic pieces. Yeah, you pieces. pay sometimes hundreds of dollars for... I think they're gold-plated. <laughs> yeah, well, I think Lego thinks they're gold-plated. I mean, I love Lego, don't get me wrong, oh, yeah. but they are not cheap. I mean, the gold that... brick wasn't just a, a joke in the Lego games. It's a factual <laughs> yeah, reality. Yeah. If you chip away the plastic, all Legos are actually made of gold. A few people know that. Mm-hmm. That's why they charge so much. Next. Jedi and Mandalorians are natural enemies, like Sith and Mandalorians, or the Republic and Mandalorians, or the Empire and Mandalorians, or Mandalorians and other Mandalorians. Damn Mandalorians, they ruined Mandalore. Yeah, they don't get along with anybody, do you, except for a little baby alien. Hey, he didn't even yeah. get along with him at first. No, they got along. He just didn't like... He didn't like him. Just well, he, he kind of yeah, liked him, but yeah. Road there. Yeah, the Mandalorians... Don't get along with anybody. No. That's what Mandalorian means in Mandalorian. He who doesn't get along? Yes. <laughs> Don't look that up because it's not true. <laughs> Next. Just stamp the word Disney canon on it. <laughs> yeah, that's in the new true. Disney canon. True. Yes. One year old daughter points to potato. Wife. Potato. <laughs> Me as a Lord of the Rings fan. Boil and mash him, no, stick him in the stew. No. Yeah. Uh, why is it like Lord of the Rings quotes are... Well, I do it with Star Wars, too, but I yeah. do it just as much with Lord of the Rings, I think. Probably. I, yeah. We need to find you a new franchise to do them for. I know. I, it's like those two franchises. I'll find you a new one. I can't think of any one... Back to the Disney classics. Uh, I'll be doing Lion King <laughs> quotes before you know it. Well, you we'll know. have to go to a whole new world, then. Next. Thor, I love my wife. Nubu and the internet. The simp has fallen in love with the princess. <laughs> Why? Why do we? I, I mean, I think I, I found the secret to him. getting into the the video. You just called me a simp and praise Naboo. Seems to be bribery here. What? Yeah, I think you know. What? <laughs> Next. Oh, 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 oh! Shh, shh, shh. It's fair. It's from it's King Farmer. Charming. Oh, in that case, next. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's from our Discord server. He's a quote unquote friend of mine. King of Sweden. Yeah, so he claims. You know, Mom never would have played favorites or treated me like you do. You wish now that our places had been exchanged, that I had died, and your mother had lived. Yes, I wish that. Nice! <laughs> I like the flip. Actually, well done, King Charming. Oh, he's got that immortalized now. I know. He's going to play that back. and I'm Waiting for you to tell yeah. me I have to cut that. Hmm. Yeah, edit this entire thing out. <laughs> this never happened. <laughs> Next. Uh... That's <laughs> yep. So accurate. So accurate. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it, but the uh, yeah, I don't think yeah. I have to say anything to this one. But know that it's appreciated and accurate. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, next. Vecna. Every time he hears Kate Bush, <laughs> I think it's gonna be everybody. Every time they hear Kate, Bush. I can't believe. Like I never listen to the radio. I just. Don't. No, generally I don't. think a lot of people don't anymore, but it happened to hear it the other day and that song came on. I was like, really? You're like, what? Did I wow, travel back yeah. in time? I feel like it's 1985 all over again. Oh, yeah. <sighs> but no, it's a it's, fine It's, it's funny because it's like when the song from Frozen got really popular because they were they released that before the, like, before the movie. They released just that part. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they were playing like the Demi Lovato, I think it was, who did a version of it. They were playing that on the radio. And then for some reason, then they switched it, and they're like playing the, uh, the real, Menzel, yeah, the actual version. I was like, oh, the fans have spoken. We don't want the <laughs> uh, the pop remix of it. They want the original. Disney listened to the fans? No, the radio stations did. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Next. When you realize that Owen and Brew loved Luke, but didn't even know that Leia existed. Uh-huh. Are we sure they didn't know? I mean, I'm, I'm, why would you, you tell why, them? Why would you tell well, them? Then again, if one of the children becomes in danger, shouldn't they not know about the other? I mean, yeah. Bale only knows because he was around. Yeah, and, we, and considering the message Bale sent, he probably shouldn't have known about Luke. Right. I will watch Luke on Tatooine, who is being safeguarded yeah, by Owen and Beru Lars at coordinates this he and this. So if the Empire finds this message, ignore it, please. 
Yeah, he shouldn't have been involved. Yeah. They're like, we'll Sorry. take the girl. They got first dibs and everything. <laughs> they did. Maybe Owen and Brew wanted a girl. Maybe. No, but Bale had said they'd always wanted to adopt a Well, how girl. do you know that those two didn't? But no, it's a very sad... Yeah, sad kind most of thing. likely they didn't know about Luke because it, Bala, it's the, to, yeah. Pr- yeah, to There'd protect them. There'd be no them. reason, yeah, no reason to tell them. No, because if I something guess. should happen to the boy, yeah. she would at least be safe. Yeah, if Not the ever, other way around, yeah, of course. If, if so. the Empire ever found, you know... Apparently relying on Bale's uh, notoriety as a senator and the wife being you know, a queen of a planet still wasn't enough to protect Leia, but... No. But the Luke had Baru in her gun stash. Oh, we're going to make sure and check the. Uh, oh, they uh, used to be friends. Check Obi Wan's old friend list, but we aren't checking his <laughs> checking uh, Vader's relatives. Even though I have this desire for revenge and maybe threatening his aunt and uncle, you know. Oh his, uh, my God! His, checked his, Anakin's you know. friend list, and that's how. But they <laughs> that's didn't, essentially but what they, they did, yeah. Yeah, they they checked. Oh well, uh, no, they Dale talked, used to be friends with Obi Wan. They Anakin's, they talked yeah. to each other. But I want revenge against Vader and didn't think to go to Tatooine and look to see if he had any surviving relatives, even though I mm. know that he was in Skywalker. Yeah. No, it hurts my head. Stop. Stop thinking about it. Next. Thor Skywalker. Someone said hello there to me today, Sailor Naboo. You resisted the urge to say General Kenobi, right? You resisted the urge to say General Kenobi, right? No. You How did. can you resist? You, you did. I mean, you that's my... Some, my. That, do I, though? No. I mean, that's my ultimate... I say hello there to everybody. And every yeah. now and then... Every now and then, you don't always get a... You well, get, like, a little smirk. Okay, yes. You don't usually... Let's be honest. You usually don't get a... General Kenobi. You don't get that. But every now and then, you get that look like... Aha. Uh-huh. It's like that secret little, like, you know, acknowledgement. Like, I know. I know that you know that I know. And but, that's all that matters. Yeah. You don't need the general Kenobi. You just need them to know that you know that they know. Next. <laughs> <laughs> How my friends and I spend our time playing role-playing games. Combat, 18. Shopping, 11. Out-of-character conversations, 21. Food break, 9. Asking the DM questions, 16. Solving puzzles, 17. Selecting spells, level up ability, 7. Role-playing, 1. <laughs> this is this is so accurate, it's frightening. But I, I stay in character. Nobody stays in character. Did you know my favorite thing to do? One of my favorite. I got so many favorite things to do as a DM is like how you'll be having a conversation with an NPC and like, you know, the players will be actually in character talking to them and then they'll they'll stop and want to like talk to each other out of game and I'll pretend that they had said that in game and they'll spill. Usually they'll spill the beans to the NPC about something or like, why don't you trust me? Why do you have to discuss right in front of my face? You know, whether or not we should trust this guy. That's one of my, my favorite things to do. Yeah, yes. I know you're looking like, yeah, you've already done that to me and we haven't even played all that often. But no, it's it's so funny that you can just like stop and like we'll have a discussion and then we'll get some <laughs> snacks and then we'll come back to our conversation with this guy. And that one player will go to the bathroom for the 20th time? Yeah. Yeah, that will happen too. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah, Your combat especially... strategy? <laughs> Thinking of what you're going to say to the NPC? Or when they discuss battle strategy in the middle of a battle, I'll pretend like the enemies can hear them and we'll adjust. And like, well, how did he know we were going to do that? Well, you talked about it right in front of him. Yeah, I'm that DM. Next, Thor Skywalker, MCU, oh, MCU film rankings, literally anything else. Yeah, we talked about starting it though, for real. Did about, we? I don't yeah, remember we were that. Just before we, you liar. <laughs> Even before we were doing this video, we we're like, what if we can squeeze those in on like Tuesdays or something? I don't know. We, we have to figure this. Yeah, I know out. we got to get our schedule better. The last couple. I want to include my game too. Well, no, we got a lot of things we wanted. Last couple of weeks we've been busy with a lot of out of, you know, out of real life whatever stuff you want to call it. So yes, we are we're going to stop being busy with. No, that. but no, it's just more so than usual. I would say so. Our our schedule on this channel just got way out of whack, and we've missed days because we like to post here frequently. But anyway, next there are exactly two types of D and D parties. <laughs> The Monty Python or the Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, most of them I would say are more... They think they're Lord of the Rings, but they're Monty Python. I, I'm, in our current campaign, I'm playing Lord of the Rings. The, everyone else oh, is Monty Python. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's everybody else. That's, no, see, you that's, know I'm right. See, that's how the meme should be. It should be the one person who thinks they're Lord of the Rings in with the Monty Python, not realizing they're just another it's member the, of like the Monty Python. Like, a needs to be like photoshopped down into the group. Exactly. That's how that the meme be should be, because everybody thinks they're the one who's playing the best and is like the best role player and the best at everything. Okay, but me and no. one other member of the group get to go down there. All right. But it's not no, the one who decides he needs to open combat with smacking somebody in the balls. 
<laughs> nor the one who likes to tell every you know, female character per, per NPC you run into that he's never been with a woman. Yeah. Or the split personality halfling thing. That he's they, a gnome. Gnome that peed in the corner of a bar because he'd never been in one before. You're making my D&D game sound, sound terrible. Hey, when, two of us are playing Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but this campaign, you, I don't know why everybody just decided to play something weird. I'm usually, play, usually... Um, I mean, I'll give my group credit. Usually they do try to be, you know, my friends that I've been playing with forever. Usually they do try to be Lord of the Rings, but they end up Monty Python. Not intentionally, yeah. per se. But this time they are intentionally being Monty Python, uh, and I'm not sure two why. Two of the members of the group, this is like their first real experience. Yeah. And their experiences with D&D consist of watching, watching critical, Vox Machina. Yeah, and yeah, so we're watching Critical Role <laughs> and thinking it's all makes like them that. into yeah. Monty Python. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they are. Yeah, they did confess to watching that first, didn't they? Which I've only seen a little bit of one of the episodes. And I like, watched it. Yeah, it's Monty Python. Yeah, <laughs> with very, 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 very little Lord of the Ring. Yes. All like right. Two seconds. Next, Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. Oh yeah, I did say that. I was kind of using a metaphor at the time. I'm actually your dad. Sorry for the confusion. <laughs> Yeah, he did. Tell he me. did. Yeah, he did. It's funny how that now kind of feels different. Yeah, because he was honest. Yeah, he told him. <laughs> no, did. I killed him. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. He was right. He did. I did yeah, say that. Yeah. Did say that. But I mean, figuratively, literally, two different things, I guess. Next. Oh, that's it. Aww. No <laughs> more Faramir memes. That that was. No, that was it. You got one. I don't make the memes, so don't look at me like. <laughs> I Where's think you're holding Faramir back. Memes? I think I'm I think not. you probably get just a flood of Faramir memes and you, you don't do use them. You do not get a flood of Faramir memes. Maybe he's tapped out. That's impossible. No one can hey, kill not a Faramir a, meme. We didn't have really anyone take up your challenge last week of your Simp Walker selections. I didn't have yes, put a... Did. What did I put I'm a... pretty sure last week you made an announcement that you were ready for the flood of the Simp Walker. No, I, would, no, I didn't want any... What? No, I the opposite. No, I, I said no... Sim, you're trying to get people to send in more Simp Walker when I said no Simp Walker. I'm why would I want that? <laughs> yes, I wish that. See? <laughs> no, I don't. He does. I was just, just being, uh, you, I was being you, Denethor. No. No. Uh, well, that's all we got for you this time. Now take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of this week's memes, or you can send them to the email address in the description below, or if you're on the Discord server, keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And until next time, thanks for watching.